Hey, what's up? Justin here. Welcome to the channel. If you want to keep on top of everything Edrim related, hit that subscribe and bell icon so you don't miss any of the new videos. Now, I recently got this question in a comment and I wanted to answer it in this video. Hey, Justin, I recently found a brand new Roland TD1 KPX1 at almost the exact same price as a TD11K. I'm a bit confused about the gain of the portability of the TD1 KPX versus the better sound in the TD11 drum module. Do you have any advice? I'm a beginner and I live in a small apartment. I thought this was a really good video topic because a lot of people don't even realize Roland has a TD1 KPX drum line. Uh, so let's explain that, that drum set line first. Roland has two sets in this lineup, the TD1 KPX and then the TD1 KPX2. The only, the only difference between those two drum sets is that the newer version has a kick drum beater that's elongated so it can fit a double, you know, a double kick drum pedal. That's the only difference between the two. They're exactly the same. So before we talk about how this drum set stacks up against the TD-11 line, let's go over the specs and what kind of pads and module and all that stuff that it has. The TD-1 KPX line has three PDX6 pads, which are 6.5 inches across for the toms. It's got one PDX8 pad that's eight inches across for your snare that is dual zone. It's got three CY5 dual zone symbols that are all 10 inches across. So that's hi-hat, crash, and ride. You have an FD9 hi-hat controller pedal. That would be about 160 bucks if you bought that separately. It's a step up from what they use on the Roland TD1K drum set. It's not that, this is a better version of that. The drum module is the TD1 generation. It's the absolute cheapest drum module that they make. It gives you 15 kits inside. It gives you zero editing options over those kits. And it's only got one output, the headphone jack. So if you wanna play along with headphones and record yourself at the exact same time, you're gonna to have to buy a little mixer and plug the mixer into the headphone jack and then plug your headphones and then another line going to a recording device from there. The drum module does have nine inputs though. That means you can put one extra pad on this drum set if you want. So that's all well and good, but really the thing that they're selling here is the fact that it's incredibly portable. So with just one drum key, you can break it down and fold it into barely anything. So it's, you know, you can put it inside a gig bag that they sell. You can put it in your closet. You might even be able to fold this underneath your bed. I'm not sure. This thing is incredibly tiny and all you need is a drum key and you can fold it and then unfold it. And by the way, this drum set costs you $1,400. It does not come cheap. The reason for that really high pricing is the fact that they have mesh pads. Whenever Roland includes mesh pads, they always jack up the prices. But for the comparison today, we're going to assume the TD1K and the TD1KPX version are the exact same price because he did find one version that was the exact same price. So switching over to the TD11K, its snare pad is a PDX8 pad, which is the exact same snare as on the other drum set. All the tom pads are the PD8A pads, they're all rubber pads. The kick pad is a KD9, which feels much nicer. It has this like cloth rubber feel to it. The cymbals are all CY8s, and then one CY5 for the hi-hat. This drum set comes with the Roland TD11 drum module, which gives you 50 kits inside, as opposed to the 15 kits and the other drum set. It's got 10 inputs, so you can expand it with two extra pads and it has a right and left output, so you can plug this straight into your recorder or whatever you know speakers you want and plug your headphones in via a separate jack, so you don't have to buy a mixer with this thing. So I've gotta admit, this comparison is kinda of weird, unique, and interesting because on the one hand, you have a drum set that the pros and cons are all mesh pads, the fact that it's incredibly portable, and then the cons are the drum module kinda of sucks. On the other hand, you have a drum set where the drum module gives you more options and it's easier to record, has more outputs and an extra trigger input that the other one doesn't have, but it only has one mesh pad for the snare, everything else is rubber. And also it's not as portable. So there are pros and cons to both of these drum sets, that's why it makes it a hard decision. So the way I look at it, if I was in the situation where I lived in a small apartment, I needed a very portable drum set and I had the option of buying a Roland TD11K versus a TD1 KPX, I would personally buy the Roland TD1 KPX. It's got all mesh pads. You can always upgrade the drum module later. That's what some people don't realize. If you buy a low level drum set like a Roland TD1K or something, you can always upgrade the drum module if you want. It's just usually not practical on a Roland TD1K because the pads are all rubber and why would you upgrade the drum module anyway? In this case, He's got a mix of pads that are coming from the Roland TD1K. So he's got the cymbals and the drum module from a Roland TD1K. He's got like the snare and tom pads from a Roland TD11KV. So it's a mix up between both of those drum sets. That's why this drum set might be worth upgrading in the future. You could slap a TD15 that you found on eBay on this thing and really bring this drum set to another level. Now, of course, we gotta remember this guy found it at an incredible deal. You're not gonna find that drum set at 800 bucks every day of the week. In fact, this drum set is actually pretty darn hard to find. I feel like it's a little bit easier to find in Europe, 
but uh, you can only find it at a certain number of music stores online. It does exist though. It's not a special setup made by a store. It's an actual real drum set. You can search for it on the Roland website and it shows up. So it does exist. It's just kind of hard to get your hands on. So that's what I think about the comparison, but there's another drum set I wanna mention before we move on. The Roland TD4 KP. This one isn't flashy, doesn't have all mesh pads, but it's at a much lower price point. It does the exact same thing the Roland TD1 KPX line does, so that's why I think it's worth talking about. The Roland TD4 KP costs you $700 brand new. That's a really low price point for a Roland drum set. As far as pads go, they're all exactly the same. 7.5 inch rubber pads, they're all single zone, no rim shot unfortunately. As far as cymbals go, they're dual zone 10 inch CY5 cymbals. It's got a Roland TD4 drum module with 25 kits inside. As far as outputs go, you get your headphone jack and your right and left outputs so it's easier to record this thing. Just like the Roland TD11 drum module, the TD4 does let you edit kits. It lets you, you know, you know, tune them and all that stuff. Unlike the TD1 where all you can do is go up a kit and down a kit. The only downside of the TD4 drum module, unfortunately, is that it has a MIDI out port, but it doesn't have USB MIDI. The one thing that would make the Roland TD11 and TD1 drum modules even is if you only used Easy Drummer or Addictive Drum, something like that. If you're just going to use drum software, you don't really care about the fact that there's not enough outputs because you're just going to use your laptop anyway. As far as I can tell, the Roland TD1 KPX drum set and the TD4 KP drum set, they both are using the exact same drum racks. So if you want extreme portability, just buy either one of these drum sets. So on the one hand, you have the Roland TD1 KPX that has mesh pads and a TD1 drum module. On the other hand, you have a TD4 KP that has rubber pads and a TD4 drum module. They both have their pros and cons, especially when it comes to price. You know, the TD1 KPX that literally costs twice as much as the TD4 KP. If you're just going for simple practicing and you don't care about mesh pads, maybe the TD4 is a more logical choice, especially if you can buy it used on eBay for like 500 bucks. It's a really easy choice to go with for its extreme portability because they literally have the exact same drum rack. The electronic drum industry is always chock full of choices no matter what price point you're looking at. So the Roland TD1 KPX is probably the best portable drum set there is out there. But if you want a budget alternative, take a look at the Roland TD4 KP. Well, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a few.